Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start today's information. These are some updates on their art. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. The International Monetary Fund has consistently recommended Iraq develop additional streams of income outside of the oil industry. Iraq holds a significant amount of the world's history within its borders, what is needed is security and safety for travelers. Once safety issues are addressed and the Euphrates and Tigris rivers are flowing again there will be substantial annual revenue to help boost Iraq's GDP. Some people comes out and go, hey, the dinar is going to be $7, or $8. Bullshit like that. I don't know where they get the information from. If it goes one to one I'll be happy, the second thing, when they come out and they go, the back screens. What back screens? Why you not showing the back screens? Who's telling you about back screens? Other people go, Iraq the exchange rate is internal and external. What the hell you saying? It's crazy. You know they're not going to come out and say, we are going to change the exchange rate but only in Iraq, then banks. The numbers doesn't work like that. It doesn't work at $7 or $8 or $11, be reasonable. $2.80 or $3.50 maximum like it used to be. A guy comes on TV and he talks to us about how the end of the Untied Nations mission official has removed all sanctions from Iraq. Some opine that there is no such thing as a redemption center while others claim to be in contact with such centers and their personnel. What they, redemption centers, are, is a simple solution to a simple problem. Many of the large banks in heavily populated urban centers were concerned about having the dinar traffic clog their lobbies at exchange time. The solution is to have a separate, off-premises, specialized, exchange center, complete with Delarue computer, in the most populated city in each of the ten federal regions, I haven't been informed of any changes. We got another bank story overnight from a wealth manager who is reaching out to clients saying it is time get everything prepared. He means to get currency together and make certain they have IDs updated if needed. He says they are at any moment now. To me this is really encouraging as a lot of these stories are from bank personnel who used to say. It's a scam don't do it when asked about by foreign currency. Now they are telling me you were right all along and get prepared we will not know the exact timing or the when until it actually happens. But they are now openly preparing many of their clients. We are hearing more and more repeat stories about this. But being leaned on hard to not share details right now.